The Raspberry Pi is awesome, so awesome in fact that you can use it as a Spotify Connect device. In other words, you can use your Raspberry Pi as a wireless audio output device, beaming music from Spotify on your PC or phone to play it through your Raspberry Pi. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is Play Spotify Through Your Raspberry Pi. Spotify has a huge collection of music and it gives users plenty of options for streaming their favourite tracks. You can enjoy Spotify via your web browser or by installing the dedicated smartphone or desktop application. However, these methods don't always deliver the highest sound quality. Spotify Connect aims to solve this problem by making it possible to play all your favourite tunes via any compatible wireless product, including standalone speakers and soundbars. In this tutorial, we will learn how to set up your Raspberry Pi as a portable and inexpensive Spotify Connect device. What you'll need. To complete this tutorial, you'll need a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian. If you don't already have Raspbian, grab the latest version from the website and flash it to an SD card using Etcher. A power cable compatible with your Raspberry Pi, external keyboard, HDMI or micro HDMI cable, depending on your model of Raspberry Pi, an external monitor, Ethernet cable or connect over Wi-Fi, an RCA to headphone cable so that you can attach your Raspberry Pi to an audio device such as a speaker or stereo, or a USB audio card for higher quality audio. Also, you will need a subscription to Spotify Premium to access this feature. Raspbian, are you running the latest version? To start, Raspberry Pi should be up and running with the latest version of Raspbian. Boot up your Raspberry Pi and open a terminal window and type in the following commands. sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. If Raspbian installs any updates, then you'll need to reboot your Raspberry Pi by clicking the little Raspberry Pi icon in the corner and then selecting shutdown and reboot. Install the Spotify client. This tutorial uses Raspotify, a Spotify Connect client specifically designed for Raspberry Pi. Raspotify requires the curl and apt transport HTTPS packages, so open a terminal and make sure these packages are installed on your Raspberry Pi. sudo apt install minus y apt transport HTTPS curl. All these more complicated commands are in the description so you can cut and paste them. Next, add the Raspotify repository and associated GPG key. The GPG key is particularly important as it allows the apt package manager to verify any files it retrieves from the REST Spotify repository. In the terminal, run the following two commands. The REST Spotify repository has been successfully added, but the currently the package manager doesn't know about this repository. So, so to keep the package manager in the loop, run the following terminal command, sudo apt update. You can now install REST Spotify with the simple command, sudo apt install REST Spotify. Raspotify will launch automatically, so you are now ready to start streaming music to your Raspberry Pi. Enjoy Spotify on your Raspberry Pi. Now you can send music to your Raspberry Pi from the Spotify desktop or mobile app. In this section of the tutorial, Spotify for iOS is being used, so the steps may differ slightly if you're using an alternative platform. Launch the Spotify app, select the song you want to play, tap the Devices Available section towards the bottom of the screen, in the bottom corner, select the little Devices icon, find your Raspberry Pi and give it a tap. Your Raspberry Pi should now be playing your chosen song through whatever speaker you happen to have it attached to. Configuring Spotify Connect. To improve the user experience, you can make several changes to REST Spotify software. You can edit REST Spotify settings by running the following terminal command sudo nano slash etc slash default slash REST Spotify. This launches a configuration file in the nano text editor. You can now make various changes to this file, including giving your Raspberry Pi a unique name. By default, your Raspberry Pi will have the name REST Spotify in brackets Raspberry Pi. If you have multiple Raspberry Pis on your network, then you might want to give each a distinct name, for example, Raspberry Pi Kitchen or Spotify Connect Client. To rename your Raspberry Pi, find the following line, hash device underscore name equals Raspberry Spotify, and make your desired changes. For example, I decided to change it to Raspberry Spot. Don't forget to remove the hash symbol at the beginning that comments it out and makes it not execute. 
you can also boost the audio quality. Bitrate refers to the amount of data that's processed over a certain amount of time. The higher the bitrate, the better the audio quality, while lower bit rates will consume less data, which can be useful if you're playing Spotify on your smartphone. The standard bitrate for Spotify Connect is 160 kilobytes per second, but audio files can unlock high quality audio by increasing this value to 320. Alternatively, you may want to experiment with Spotify's low quality bitrate of 96 to see whether you can really tell the difference. Regardless of whether you're opting for low quality, 96, medium quality, 160, or high quality, 320, you can control Spotify's bitrate setting by editing the following line. Bitrate equals 160. Don't forget to remove the hash symbol as that comments out the line and prevents it from executing. Save your changes using Ctrl X and Y and then Enter when prompted. Finally, you need to restart the Rust Spotify service with sudo systemctl restart Rust Spotify. Ultimately, the sound quality depends on the audio device you attach to a Raspberry Pi. And don't forget to make use of our Spotify tips, link in the description, to enhance your listening experience. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.